Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, whatever it is. <laughs> Wherever you are. My name is Andrew Grosser and welcome back to AG Inspires and welcome back to my channel. Now, what we're going to be looking at over the course of the next eight weeks, the next eight weeks, is how you move from dream to reality. How you get what's in your head into something that you actually hold, something that you actually deliver a way of that you actually live. So in this one, this episode here, episode one, we're gonna be taking a look at goal setting, how you do it, why it's important, and everything in between. So first things first, before we get into the whole goal setting activity, you need to understand the difference between a dream and a goal. Now the reason why I'm going over that is because it's one of the crucial points and questions and queries that I get on a day-to-day -day basis. Of people not understanding the difference between the two, not understanding the difference between a goal and a dream. And the only difference between the two really that you need to get your head round is the intention of action. The intention of action. The intention that you have to take action on the dream. That's what transfers a dream, enables a dream to transfer from the dream world into a goal. We all have these, I mean, we all have these dreams, these things, these visions that come to us about things that we'd like to have, ways that we'd like to live, things that we'd like to do, you know, whether it be in the form of jets, yachts, penthouse apartments. Like if you speak to my 10 year old son, his dream is to become a billionaire, a billionaire. The reason why he wants to be a billionaire is because he associates money with freedom. You know, so his vision is I want freedom. The ultimate way of getting it to have is to have as much money as possible. The biggest figure that my head can conjure up is a billionaire. Therefore, the dream is to become a billionaire. But he's 10, so therefore, you know, as much as he can scheme and plan, he doesn't have structured plans in place. He doesn't have a structured way of actually achieving that. So it remains a dream. When we take the dream and we go, right, how do I how do I make this dream? A reality so how do I transfer my I my idea of being a billionaire into a structured plan I'm going to be that's when it transfers from that which is a dream to that which is a goal because we have the intention of making it a reality and the whole process that we use to make that a reality is that of goal setting when it comes to goal setting let's not keep get it complicated and let's keep it twisted you keep it simple you start with the end in mind so we start with the actual goal right so you physically say out loud and that's part of the process i am going to be a billionaire note the change in language it's not i want not i desire not i dream i am going to become a millionaire so what do i need to have what do i need to do what are the things i need in place in order for me to become a billionaire that's a logical question that you have to ask yourself. What are all the things? What are all the individual rungs in that ladder that I have to use and that I have to put in place in order to climb high enough to get to that state of being a billionaire? What is it that I need to do? And that's the whole subject of goal setting here because what we're looking at again, right? Well, your, goals, your goal is this, but what we're setting in place are all the individual little smaller subset goals that I need to do in order to achieve it. You know, what are they? Well, I actually actually identify what they are and write them down. Now, in the in the grand grand scheme of life planning here, this is where people spend the least amount of activity, and also one of the biggest reasons as to why people don't achieve the things that they want to do and they don't do the things that they what they desire to do, because you don't spend enough time planning. Planning's not exciting. It's not sexy. Dreaming of the dream that's sexy. That's a that's 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 audacious and that's that's bold. You know looking at the goal itself at the top end that's that's really exciting the bits that are in between all the mundane little levels that need to be achieved in order to create that that's not sexy but people don't spend enough time in the planning stage they spend so much to all their time in the dream phase they don't stand, spend enough in the planning phase so therefore when little when little challenges come their way it rocks them off of course it rocks them off the boat it knocks a hole in the bottom because you haven't thought about the obvious hurdles that you're going to that you're going to 
encounter. And that's also part of the planning stage, is being proactive about the course that you're setting yourself up for. If it is that you know, right, well, let's say for argument's sake, your goal is I want to be a billionaire, and the way in which you want to do it is you want to open up a whole series of off licenses all around London, let's say for argument's sake, using that as a pure example. There's a crucial bit in there called getting an alcohol license, the license the license that's going to enable you to sell the product that you th that you're going to use to actually achieve the finance. Well, if you don't get if you haven't planned in your scheme, if you haven't outlined that, that getting that license is a crucial rung in your ladder and you don't apply for it in time, then the whole dream falls apart and then the end result doesn't happen. So the whole thought press, the whole planning stage, the goal setting stage is absolutely crucial and it's probably where you should spend the most amount of your time highlighting not just the things that could go wrong but all the elements that you need to achieve in order to do that before you even start so you get an understanding of the game plan you get an understanding of how much time you get an understanding of what needs to be done and that's what goal setting is it's a realistic understanding of the steps that need to be done that need to be accomplished before you can actually actually achieve that end goal to, and turn that dream into an actual physical state of mind for your your life you know it's your yellow brick road so to speak to the end the end goal if you want to use them extend the metaphor from the wizard of oz that is the yellow brick road to the emerald city the emerald city is where your dream is your emerald city is the utopia the emerald city is the bit at the end the bit that's the shining bit where all the sexiness and excitement is but you've still got to walk every step walk across every brick dodge every crack dodge every snail slug and 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 goblin on the on the road there to get there your goal setting phase is absolutely crucial to everything that you've dreamed about having in your world and having in your life so that brings us to the end of this this episode. Thank you so much for watching and tuning in. If you haven't done so already, please take the time to like, comment, share, and most importantly, subscribe to the channel. Next week, we're taking a look at prioritization. So this week, we take a look at goal setting. We've got the goals in place. We've got, we know how to set it up. We know how to run it. But what we're talking about next is how do you prioritize that task list? How do you prioritize that to-do prioritize that to -do list to make sure that everything lands in line, in sync, and in time with the end goal. We get into that next week. But in the meantime, you stay strong <laughs> and you stay focused. Take care, and we'll see you in the forwards. See you next week.